All right, we've got Brogan paired up with Trevor Bauer here. Let's take it through live and see what we got. All right. All right, let's see what Trevor does. One of the best in the game. Does some things really well. And let's see what we got with Brogan. Okay. Um, nice setup. No issues here. Let's take it up to the leg lift. And then we'll get Trevor in the same spot. Uh, both pretty similar. I would say uh, maybe let's, we're getting stacked up just a hair on the backside with the hip over the uh the back leg but not a not a big uh um that's a slight adjustment we'll just make here it's tough to tell from trevor's angle but he definitely does and i can tell um he's going to keep that back hip inside of his back drive leg and then i'm focusing now on what he's doing he's kind of you know riding the slope of the mountain down uh advancing forward and falling down uh you know at the same rate with this um with his back hip and then definitely utilizing the ground we can see that his knee and shin are coiling away from the target and then doing a nice job of staying in that backside as long as he possibly can and let's see what brogan does here uh some similarities i like it he does oh there we go there's that coil i like that i like that a lot so he's definitely getting into the ground and uh, utilizing that uh, that ground force that we talk about, um, kind of, and, and he does a good job of not dropping and driving. It's more of a falling down the mountain at the falling as, as at the same rate that he's kind of dropping down and driving. Um, so good good stuff there. I like what I see. Staying in the backside, um, and then let's go in the front. And he's kind of got that shorter arm action. Nothing wrong with that at all. Because uh, really all it is is just a function of where where do we get our arm slot to when our front foot lands. Okay, so Brogan's a little little taller. I think we can extend this, this stride length, and I think we can also work on the stride direction. Looks to me like he's, you know, fall. Uh, I think this is probably relatively close to just based on where he's standing on the rubber. That's relatively close to the line that we would want to be in. So he's not, you know. Stepping in the bucket too terribly bad, but definitely want to try to straighten that out a little bit. He does do a good job of getting the shin and knee opened up. It's a clear room for these hips. But as you can see, we have the shoulders flying open. So we'll want to work on that. Um, and then, you know, I like the angle of the arm. He's right at 90. So, again, I'm, I'm completely fine with all that. Uh, let's see what Trevor does at front foot Drake, it's tough to tell because you can't see his front foot, but I think it lands about right there. Um, so he's got those shoulders a little more, um, you know, he's, he's starting to throw downhill now. Shoulders are, are in line. He's in that 90. I think he's slightly inside 90. So I think if we increase the stride length a little bit here for Brogan and certainly the direction so we're not opening up so soon, we'll want to try to get him to where he's not throwing uphill, so to speak. Um, so we can really get all that momentum heading down the mound. Uh, so just a couple things that we'll work on here, stride direction, stride length. And then as we're coming through here, um, you know, not bad. I think we're going to work on firming up that front side a little bit. He leaks a little bit. You know, anytime we're looking at the front side, we want to make sure that our knee does not go any further than really our back or excuse me, our stride foot heel. So we're a little bit inside that there, or excuse me, extending past that rather. Uh, so that's something we'll talk about. We got a couple of drills we can work on with just a matter of from up that front side, um, which I think will help with a variety of things here. And then let's see what Bauer does as he comes through. You can see it's tough to see where his knee ends up, but I can I can pretty certain that his knee does not go past his, his stride foot heel. And you can kind of see where it firms up there. Um, he doesn't get as much forward trunk tilt as you'll see with a lot of guys. You know, a lot of guys they'll they'll follow through so much with that trunk tilt that you'll be they'll be able to pick up something off the ground with that throwing arm. So he he's not quite as pronounced with that as a lot of guys. Uh, obviously works for him though, so whatever works. Um, but he does do a good job of finishing the throw, 
controlling the glove arm until after the ball is released, like right there. Doesn't really matter what the glove arm does. So he does a good job of controlling that. Let's see what Brogan does here. Um, I like to see that glove arm again. It's just kind of, you know, the, the thought process is that we want to bring our chest to our glove so that we make sure everything's still going forward. And, and part of that function is that that left elbow kind of comes down by the left side while that's happening. So I think he's doing that, but I also think we're still getting a little loose with the glove arm action. So we'll want to clean that up some. Um, and I think we can still do a better job of finishing the throw with our hips. Um, you know, typically when, it, when you see a pitcher follow through, uh, you've seen it in some of the other videos, but you'll be able to see the underside of their, their cleat. In this case, obviously, their right cleat from a right-handed pitcher perspective. And Brogan doesn't quite get his up and around. So that just tells me that he's not quite finishing the throw like we would want him to. Um, so... Still pretty good velocity there, big kid. Um, and if we can clean some of this stuff up, we can get that even better. So a lot of good things here, and we'll keep working on it. Good job, Brogan.